three of the four defenders here are fresh coming off of a rest of the game. Derek Jones slotting in. They'll be happy to see this is getting closer and closer to what their, their starting, their best 11 looks like. Alex Rodon comes back into the team at that right back. Whether it's more beneficial for Charlotte to have the ball or not. It is Charlotte FC who kick things off and get us underway. Attacking. Jackson Reagan going over the top and Christian Roldan in behind. It's as simple as that. One routine ball. Christian Roldan takes it down. And what a return to the first 11. Sounders have the goal and it's been coming from minute one as well. He's going to get assists, but he gets it because of his willingness, his runs in behind. That's one of his strengths. But he takes this goal really, really well. The timing of his run, that first touch, that first touch is everything because it sets the ball perfectly for him in stride. Now he just, just regained his composure here. Kalina's caught in no man's land. He does really well to get a clean strike on goal. Vargas, he's been involved a lot on this right-hand side. Westwood, good ball in, Sidersky making the run, did he keep that one in play, amazing bit of skill from Sidersky, and it's somehow smashed home at the far post, but that's all about Sidersky keeping that one alive, Jalen Lindsay in the right position, but a moment of magic from Sidersky has helped Charlotte FC get level. So that's what that is. Because when he gets into this position, Yamar probably thinks, I've done enough. He's just going to go out of bounds. And he does just enough with that first touch to keep it in bounds. They'll obviously check. But this first touch here just sets him off. The little ball to the back post. Seattle get caught. Ball watching. Fall asleep. And it's Jalen Lindsay, your right back, who finds himself on the back post. He would have never believed he's in this situation with this much time and space. Does well with the finish to draw this game back level at 1-1 and bring this crowd to life. Neymar, Christian Muldon. And there's that run in behind from Rosbach this time. He's going to get there ahead of Lindsay. Back for Leo Chu. Rui Diaz, nice turn. Sets up nicely, Rui Diaz! Oh my word, what a strike! How they've missed Raul Rui Diaz! difficult of the bunch so far, but it starts with the run from Albert Rusnak. Talked about hitting that blind ball at times, and Yamar says, you know what, let's try it. Good combination play here, but as soon as he takes that touch away from goal, you think, okay, the chance is maybe gone, but all he needs is that small window, and he sees the far post and just absolutely puts his laces through it, gets a little bit of whippage on it, so it nestles into that far post. Kalina's slightly blinded maybe, but there's nothing he can do about that anyway. That's a striker's finish, that's a striker with a different skill set and an absolute killer. That's why I described him early on as a killer, as an assassin. Bender, lucky chance to break here if they can launch this ball over the top of Reagan. Swiderski. Bender, good break from him. Ball out wide, Vargas. That one takes a deflection. Bender, back for Westwood. On his right foot! Oh! Westwood says, I see what you've done, Rui Diaz. I can go one better. A top quality strike from Charlotte FC's midfielder. Has its level again. 2-2. Has done an incredible job playing as one of those midfielders. He's involved here early on. Shows some good composure to start this play. And look who it is. It's Ashley Westwood and himself who start this playoff. Good hold-up play here from Trudersky. Ben Bender continues his run. You see at the top of your screen that the trailing run there from Ashley Westwood, and it's going to be pivotal because he's there at the top of the box. Ben Bender, yet again, involved in the play, does a good job putting himself into a threatening area, but then having the composure to just set this on a plate there. Ashley Westwood has the composure to get Obed Vargas a bite, and then says, Seppin Fry picked this one out oh. as he just curled it into the far post, brings his crowd back to life. And draws his side level. I know I can do more. Good ball here, Swiderski, Bender, from the edge of the penalty and off the woodwork. Ben Bender's been on fire. Yep. Absolutely on fire this match. 
Ronfalo again, good delivery, and Kalina came out and had to make that interception as well. Really good angle on that cross. Rui Diaz, we're hearing he's one of the two about to be replaced. Christian Roldan may get a, a longer stay. Jao Paulo, that's at the far post! Rui Diaz, if he is going to go off, his last act will be to give the Sounders the lead once again. Double on the night for him. He is red hot. How many times you want to allow Joao Paulo to put a ball into the box if you're Charlotte FC? That's not the first, that's not the second. I think that's the third chance that he has with time to pick his head up and put in a threatening ball. This time, Charlotte can't deal with it. And it's a poacher's finish. Raul Ruiz Diaz just lurking at that back post. By the way, it's not an easy finish because he has to time this perfectly and watch it go over the heads of two or three bodies in front of him and just keep his eye trained on the ball, make sure he gets a clean strike on it. Bronica. I'm told he has had exactly one touch so far. Nathan Byrne. Byrne delivers. The counter in! He's been a minute since coming on, Oji Man, and he got just enough of a touch to take that beyond Stefan Fry. For Charlotte FC, and Patrick Ajiman put his hand up high. Nathan Byrne hasn't had that much influence on the attacking half in this game thus far, but he finally puts the ball into the box. Christian Latanzio begging for those last couple of yards, saying the free kick was a little bit deeper. They take it short. Rosnack, is there going to be enough time? There isn't a six-goal thriller tonight at Bank of America Stadium.